back out. Again, had a rough night last night. I'll say that again. Had a rough night last night. Met a wee rab who's all right. He's getting better. Can't climb though, can't camp. So we just stay in the cars, the vans. This is Greenside Mine. I'm heading that way. All right. There's two paths, right? This is the one where it takes you up to Red Tarn and the edges, striding and Swirl and then on to Halvalen and if you're not like into the edges this path I'm not going up Halvalen I'm planning on going up Cats de Cam Cats de Cam, right? Cats de Cam I don't know how you say it I've heard locals saying Cats de so I'm sticking with that but yeah Oh, I'm sweating like it's been a while since I did a big climb like this. Big walk, it's a long walk, it's a couple of miles. And it all starts going uphill from here. Whew! So my heart rate's up. That's good because that's burning the fat belly off us. <laughs> wait until wait until October. No beer. I'm having a month off the beer, I really am. Camping. Um, weekends in the van, just no beer. I've got to come up with a solution, an alternative solution. No alcohol Guinness, maybe, but I might just stuff it all together. Whew, it's a nice walk though. I've, two, I've done, uh, we've done one and a half miles already. I'm just starting to climb now. But yeah, like I said, two paths. So if you don't like the edges, Follow the signs, the signs back there saying Hellville in avoiding the edges because I know not everybody likes them. Them edges are a bit sketchy, like I've done them a few times. And if you're not into it, it can be quite scary. But, um, yeah, see how I might feel tomorrow. I might go up swirl, down striding, and then back down this way, or I might just come straight back down, depends. And we got one can of beer. One can of beer. That's it. Let's see how I get on. Got a slight change of plan. I've just come down there. I'm going down here now. That path was taking you up really, really long way around and, and up the side of there. To hell with that. This is the path I need over here. Gonna go to Red Tarn. Up there, and then from Red Tarn. You can go up, but this was this was extremely steep way. I've got to cross this river. I don't know how deep it is. Oh man, should have took the should have took that path to start with. So anyway, that's a lesson learned. So it's still that's the way if you want to avoid the edges. But as for coming down, look at that man. <laughs> what on earth? So I've got to get across this river, over the bridge, and then follow the path. And it's straightforward from there. I've come down that way before, so it's steep, but that's the way. It's steep. Everything's steep around here. Everything. So I'm at the river of Doom. Um, it's deep enough to like wet your feet, you know, make your feet uncomfortable. Just gotta take a take a leap of faith here. Ready? With a big with a big backpack on. That was hard with a big pack on. Quite the gap. Anyway, I'm over. I'm back on the back on the right track now I reckon. We get up on this track up here and then just follow it up to the town. Ah, nice uh, nice scenery like. Look at that. Look at that. It's been ages since I've been to the lakes.
Ah, oh, eh? Um, yeah, that's cat stick armor. That's the path. Notice I'm not on it because, look, being enveloped by a uh, cloud, it's coming really cloudy, misty, foggy, whatever the hell it is. So I'm not going to see now out there. So, my plan, my new plan, is to camp somewhere. I've always wanted to camp for a long time. It's Red Tarn, but every time I've come up here, Red Tarn's been absolutely swarmed with campers. Coming on Saturday night, it's absolutely packed with campers. So, because it's a Sunday and I'm off work tomorrow for the week, um, I'm going to camp. I'm going to pitch at Red Tarn. Yes, tick that one off. Always wanted to do it. Always wanted to camp there. The amount of people just always put us off. I didn't know why I didn't think of that in the first place. Should have been planning here. But if I go up there, I can see now, oh. I mean, you're not gonna see much from Red Tarn either. Like, that's a striding edge. That's the, the edge of doom. <sighs> oh, nearly there anyway. It's been a hard slog. It's so hot, there's no air. It's, it's dead still, the wind, listen. Look at the grass. Hardly a breath of wind, so there's no air. Anyway, come on, nearly there. Red tarn. No idea why they call it that. I thought it was because the rocks were like red, iron ore, but not other. Might have been one day, but. We're in the shadow of hell, Valen. Just up there in the clouds. Hopefully all that will clear tomorrow. We'll see it in the morning. See where we are. And if I feel fit, I'll go up Swirrel. Swirrel edge and then down sharp air, uh, striding edge. Maybe. Because, like I say, I've only got one kind of beer tonight. So it's not like I'm going to be hungover. This is training for when I give up the beer. Just bringing one can. I really couldn't face it. I might not even drink that can, to be fair. The way I feel, I feel rotten. I feel like I want to be sick. Here we are. Anyway, just a couple there. A couple there just walking up, and then they're going to go back down. I think there's people coming down, swirl. See if I can find a pitch anyway. I've got the whole taunt to choose from. That's Helvellyn up there in the cloud. You can climb that, you know. You can climb up there as long as you take your time. Yeah, look, it's not a breath of wind. There's flying things, but they're not midges. Pitch there. It's not exactly level. Inside's okay though, I'm not rolling about, it just doesn't look flat at all. The ground's really hard, I had to bang the pegs in. Swirl edge, people coming down it still. And the cloud is it's lingering up there. It might drop down, but look there, there's my view. Nice, eh? Here we are, I'm just having a brew with a view. And look, I really only have got one can. I'm just not in the mood for drinking. More than enough last night. I felt rotten all day because of that stuff. I've got everything set up, my light tour mat again. Yes, the Quasar bag. The quilt is here, should I need it. This is what I've got for my tea. So there's another tale of war. So I've got a sterling, no, it's a rump steak, sorry. Got a nice rump. I had, I had bread buns and tomatoes, and uh, they're not in the bag. So 
that's something else I forgot. I mean, looking straight and edge coming up the cloud there. Striding edge. It's dodgy like. It's alright if you know what you're doing. It doesn't look that high from here, does it? Mm, I think it is. Um, I so forgot my bloody tomatoes and my bread buns, so it's just a plain steak. Yeesh. Tell you, man. Hopeless. Then we're going to have a nice cup of tea first. Just a refreshing cup of tea. This is Tarn water. This out the out the behind where it's um, running. I didn't get it out of the Tarn. It's from behind. There's some streams coming out of the rocks, so that's what you get. Less chance of contamination if it comes out the ground behind you. There's ripples on the water. I wonder if it's fish or is it the flies? I don't know. Might be little fish like bash. Maybe cod, cods or haddocks. Giant cods. Here we go. It's a bit difficult holding the camera. They're not greatest flies. Bad though. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was rubbish. The smallest one went the furthest. It's starting to clear up. Look. This is the uh, this is the bad step bit where everybody gets stuck. My advice going down that is go down face first. A lot of people go down backwards, but I go down face first. I think it's always better because you can see where you're putting your feet. That's the striding edge anyway. It's weird weather. Over there is nice and pink sky. Over here, we've got a bit of enveloping. But uh, be alright. Hey, see, something just popped up there. A little fash. There's definitely fash in this, like. Look at the reflections. It's lovely. It's lovely till you see the rubbish in the water. Look at that, man. What the hell? The radio one anyway for a bit of company. Radio six Sunday night. Tom Robinson. Oh, there's somebody up there on striden. Think they're coming. They're coming this way. Need to hurry up, it's getting dark. Don't know like they've got big packs on them and camping. Probably going to do the loop, the horseshoe. You go up there. You go, you go around the top of over Hell of Ellen and then down Swirl. That's a good, that's a good walk. That. All right, come on, let me cup of tea. Whew. Yeah, that's where I got this water from. This stream. Miserable tea, <laughs> miserable steak. Nice looking steak. Let's get this pan hot. That's my view over the lake, over the tarn, and my beer, my only beer. Stick the cans together now with these, don't I? Instead of the plastic rings. Weird. <clears throat> my cup, my cup of tea, water. Some more water for the tea later on. 
But yeah, this is a calm camp, isn't it? It's not my usual mad carry on, but that's all right. I'm uh, going to the Isle of Skye. <clears throat> Wednesday, not sure when this video will be out. But I'm going to Skye on Wednesday with M's Adventures just for a few days because I've got a week off I've got to use in holidays at work so I just took this week off there we go sizzle away yeah I took this week off so I'm uh, going to have a van trip up there should be good be nice. I don't know what the weather's going to do like. It should, I think it's going to be all right. Yeah, so we'll just get this sorted. Come back. Nice and pink in the middle. Mmm. Bottom. Now get up. Oh, it's a bit hot. <laughs> get up and just chill out. Well, as I'm watching it get dark, I finished my steak by the way. That was lovely. That was beautiful. Oh man, nice steak. Anyway, a while back, you might remember I asked somebody to send some nice heated gloves. Well, lovely people that go cosy, go cosy, right? And you do as well in these. I sent these lovely winter gloves. Oh, it's not quite time for these yet. My hands are a bit, a bit chilly though. All right, so <clears throat> you've got the the wind strap there, so you tighten that, strap them in. You got your oh, power them up. With these little power packs which you just plug in so you unplug that and the other one and then the charger has two cables on it so you plug them both in and then you charge them up they don't take long to charge up either so that's a little battery pack that goes in there this is a waterproof zip i think it's got a sealed waterproof this is where i need my assistant Come on, I'll just do this. Right, seal them up, yep. And then long press comes on, comes on red. Right, that's the, that's the hottest setting. The battery is on 100% there now. I press it again, it's a cooler setting, the cool white. And then blue is, I think, cooler setting again. So they don't get too hot, you know. So if you're just like feeling a bit of a chill, put it on blue. But I'll put them on. Oh, went through the cycle. Yeah, red. That's on red now. I mean, you can't feel. See inside the fleece lining inside. It's lovely. Just before, even without the heating on, they feel really nice. Don't know if they're waterproof, don't know. I presume they are because they've got the. Um, I've got the waterproof zip thing there. Leather palms. Four leather palms. You see, that's hot already, that. that's warm. And then you can cinch them up there and then pull the strap across and make them windproof, totally windproof. So the, the elements are in the, the fingertips and the, and the palm. All this is an element in the back as well. My hands warming up nicely there now. Heated gloves for the winter. Link will be in the description. They're not cheap, right? But what price do you put on cold hands? Because I can't, I don't know about anybody else, but I can't function with cold hands, me. I have a right time of it in the winter with the cold hands. I might have that Reynolds disease, maybe. Don't think I have, like, but they do. My fingers going white. You know what I mean? That's a cold hand. That's lovely. That. Oh, that is nice, man. 
And to be honest, it's so cosy. I've just got to sleep now with them on there. But yeah, go cosy. That's a, a very ap appropriate name. Apparently the touch screen for your phone as well. I don't know if I've done on my phone. Oh, I've done with that. I've put it down somewhere. I can't find it. Nice one. Well, anyway, touch screen works with your phone. I'll keep using them, right? And especially in the, the cold winter. And we'll see. We'll see how we'll get on. Pretty sure that not waterproof. Rainproof, you know. Don't see how they can be. But that bit might be. With the battery pack in. I don't know, there might be. I'll find out if it rains. <coughs> Actually gonna leave that on. I'm gonna leave it on. So it's just a long press on, long press off. Short press to click through the different heat settings. That one, the hottest one. I'm gonna put that on. This hand's cold now. Right. I'm just gonna chill out now, right? Put the radio on. The radio works up here, can you believe it? DAB radio. Oh, music, music. I'm going get banned copyright. Oh, I've had to, I've had to come in because it's raining. <laughs> that wasn't forecast, the rain. Top tip, these these gone blue when the, uh, when the power starts going down. Top tip is switch them on. Switch them on before you put them on. Just leave them for a bit. And when you put them on, it's lovely. They're really warm inside now. Can't, can't actually. You can't actually feel how warm and cosy they are. But they're lovely. Yeah, anyway, switch them on and just leave them. I'm trying to work out how long the battery lasts on full. To beat an hour, and it's used 25% in an hour. I don't think you'd have them on for an hour, would you? You'd just have them on your hands warmed up. That would be the advice. Just wear them till your hands warm up, take them off. And then, if you need them again, put them on again. Anyway, go cosy. So it's funny, isn't it? I said somebody send us heated gloves. So they did. So now, somebody send me a um, Land Rover Discovery. Or a Defender. <laughs> I'm not going to get that on there. Oh dear. And I come in because of the rain, so... Just sitting here doing nothing. I'm just sitting here, busy doing nothing, listening to the radio. There's people on the, um, coming down Swirl Ledge, they were head torches, coming down at night. In the rain as well. It's not, that's not recommended. Might go up tomorrow, I'm not sure. Might not. Depends how I feel. I've had my beer, I've drank my beer, that's finished. I've got nothing to do now. It's only uh, it's only quarter to nine, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna relax and put the radio on. It's good, it's nice, just to relax and do nothing. Last night was busy night. Ah, oh, we just drank loads, sat out and talked, caught up. Rob's illness has had him, it's had him knackered like. He doesn't know what's up with him. He's he's been having blood tests and all that. Doctors can't give me an answer. So, God knows what's up with him. But he's uh, he's getting better. It's getting better. Um, but he reckons he's not gonna be able to go climbing or camping for ages. Because he just gets out of breath. He was climbing a little set of stairs this, this morning. And then he was out of breath. Which is it's tragic, because he was really fit, you know? He was really, really fit. Right, just see how it gets on. Anyway, I'm gonna put these back on and then just kick back with the radio. Oh, morning. It is the morning. Not a very nice morning. Thought it might have cleared up, but it hasn't. So I've made an executive decision of not going over the edges 
because it looks extremely dicey and I just want to get back I've got packing to do for my trip to Sky so I want to get back down edit this video sort my van out get it back looking ship shape I mean it's all right it just needs replenishments so I'm gonna have a nice cup of coffee I think coffee now and then uh, start packing nice and comfy on the mat it's lovely that mat you know I don't need to promote it now I'm happy with my first attempt but this is this is my mat now I can't wait for the winter to try it them gloves were mint they were really good put them on again last night and we're still on two bars we're still on 75% so they kept my hands lovely warm in there helped us go to sleep I think not the cheapest but oh I paid about the same for me um, the other gloves I wear the Rab ones the leather palm ones so, you know, you get what you pay for, hopefully. I'll use them again. I'm going to get a few a bit colder conditions. Let's see how good they really are. Had me Nordic socks as well. <laughs> if Jamie's watching this, they're the boys. Right, I'm going to... Uh, them, them as ramp. They were the same price as them heated gloves. I've had them for a long time. I mean, they're warm, but them, them were like double warm. And they're not much difference in size, are they? So anyway, I'll use them again. See how they perform. Oh, no phone signal here. So I've been cut off, which is good. All right, the cat's nearly boiled. So we're all packed. The edges have cleared. Oh, I'm tempted to go up there, you know, but nah. I want to get back. Cut stick here. I'm safe for another day. So here's the here's the place I was. It's on a bit of a slope going that away, but it was alright. I've had a um I sweep up, I've picked up some rubbish. There was some crap lying there. A couple of bits of paper, not really a lot. I've had fires here though. Most people wouldn't have fires, you know. Look what it does to the ground one. And what's this half hearted effort at covering it up? Unreal. Look, fire pit. If you see a fire pit and you're determined to have a fire, don't start a new one. Just use the one that's there, if you really need to. Look. Why do people do it? What is wrong with people, man? It's so damn frustrating. Really, really, really is. Anyway, some lads turned up late last night, about half eight last night. And they pitched over that side. I could hear their voices carrying across the town. They weren't, they weren't being loud or anything. I could just hear them. I didn't think anybody would come up. But anyway, this is the last view of the town. And then we'll set off three miles back. Yeah. Right, well, as you can tell, we're on the way down. This is a steep bit. Oh, I remember coming up here yesterday. I was knackered at this point. You've got to go down into that valley, cross the bridge and through, back of there. I think it's called Burkett Moor or Burke's Moor, something like that. Um, that's Cat's De Calm there. I'll save it for another day. I've been up it before, like, I have ticked that one off a couple of times actually. But uh, yeah, I just wasn't, wasn't feeling it with the cloud and that. So, yeah, we're going to head 
into the valley as the uh, Ramones once said so the next two videos I'm reviewing bikes again e-bikes e one of them's brilliant I got Emma to review the, the second one the first one's good but the second one <laughs> really good she loves it anyway so like I say I'm going to Sky, Isle of Sky. Don't know if I'm gonna do any video of that. It's all been done before. Might just relax and enjoy the trip rather than film it. This video will come out midway through my trip. So when this is out I'll be on my trip. Um just a couple of other things as well. More freebies. More freebies than Sir Kia flipping Arthur Daly. Starmer Worse than I'm worse than Kia Starmer Free stuff Fire Maple got a new tent out I said that in the last video didn't I Looking forward to that coming Trying that out next week Or the week after Um What else oh, I've got this This watch Cospet Tank X2 Ultra It's just recording me Um Me walk down now it's very good, very nice, well made AMOLED display, Gorilla Glass and the battery seems to be lasting forever I think I've had that on four days now and it's still on about 90% battery which is nuts because I've been using it to track my walks I will come to that later what else, anything else? don't forget to check the link for them heated gloves, they were amazing that top tip right where you switch them on and just leave them, get on with you setting your gear up and then put the gloves on oh so nice i just wanted to get in the glove myself like the whole of me getting in the glove <laughs> lovely cozy go cozy all right so that's it caught up we'll see you on the next one as dolly parton once said wherever wherever i lay my hat i've got places to be Wherever I go, there I am. Or something. I could have been meatloaf. <laughs>